Hey guys, Ultraman52 here. Welcome to a very long overdue video. Welcome to part one of the Rights of Anime birthday sale pickups video. Um, in this part, we're going to take a look at the first nine items, and in part two, we'll take a look at the last eight items. So, without further ado, guys, let's finally get started. Okay, so mostly everything I got was Blu-rays, but I did get two DVDs and one non-really anime Blu-ray. But it's Japan related, but it's coming from Japan, so I'll, I'll show off anyways. But the first two DVDs I got, both of them kind of going hand in hand. Um, the first got the movie of Dot Hack GU Trilogy. This apparently is a movie version of the three Dot Hack GU video game, which I am currently playing through the first one. Really enjoying it so far. But yeah, this is an all CGI film that kind of recaps all three games in like movie form, all in CGI. Um, but yeah, very cool. For extras wise, we have on this we have trailers, image board gallery, um, special TV program making of promotional videos and parody mode I don't know what parody mode is I think it might just recap the events of like the past dot hat games maybe because what the um because that's kind of what parody mode does in um at least the first part of the dot hack GU game that I'm playing but yeah uh, second off to kind of go with dot hack GU I actually picked up uh, the complete series of dot hack roots now I have only seen a few episodes of this and just from what I've seen, I really enjoyed it. And again, this was like years ago. I've seen this. I've, I've seen this. Um, now all I need is just the complete series of Dot Hack Sign and Dot Hack Quantum uh, on uh, Blu-ray. Which um, there is a Blu-ray of that I can get off, off Amazon for like super cheap. But yeah, really cool series. I don't remember where this even takes place. Like if it's like a series version of the games or, or whatever. I'm going to assume it is. Um, but yeah, for extras on here, we have trailers, textless opening and closing songs, DVD release announcements, that really shouldn't be an extra, TV spots, and promo video, so very cool. And gonna, again, showing off the front, there's Haseo, or Haseo, there, very cool. And on the inside, it's the exact same thing, so you get an episode list right there, the entire series on four discs. I really hope that Dot Hack uh, gets some more love soon, and maybe like we could see some Dot Hack series on Blu-ray, kind of like how Dot Hack Quantum got a Blu-ray, but that's just like an OVA. It's not like an actual like full-length series. It's like a two or three-part OVA. I forget. It's been a while since I've actually seen Dot Hack Quantum, but from what, for, but I have seen the entire series of it, and I just love it. It's a great series. So yeah, that's it for the DVDs. Now on to the Blu-rays. All right. So for the first series, or not series really, this actually is a movie. But this is not an anime. But I'll show off anyways because it actually um, is Japan. So we'll show off anyways. We have the Hyper Destroyer edition of Hakaider. Now I want to say I saw this like years ago, back when I was a kid, because he looks really familiar. And um, I probably saw it on like a VHS copy like years and years ago. Um, but yeah, uh, this is actually not the first ever iteration of Hakaider. He actually uh, first appeared in a 70s show uh, by Toei, which actually this movie is actually made by Toei. Uh, same company that has brought us Super Sentai and Kamen Rider. Um, he actually appeared in like a 70s show called uh, Kikater or Kikaider, I think that's how I where he, I think he wasn't like a villain, I guess. And um, <coughs> believe it or not, um, a kiter back in that show was actually a inspiration for Darth Vader. At least that's what George Lucas says. He actually cited uh, he kiter, sorry, sorry, he cited um, uh, a kiter back in that series as an influence to make Darth Vader. And I believe he actually was in Japan during the time of Kikater's original release, sorry, original run. So it kind of lines up. So, very cool, and very cool piece of trivia to know that um, Darth Vader was actually inspired by this guy here, or at least his older interpretation, but still really cool. And you get two versions on here, a theatrical cut and a director's cut, 
The theatrical cut is Japanese with English subs, and that runs for 52 minutes. And the director's cut is English, has an English dub, which is pretty cool. Or Japanese with English subs, and that runs for 77 minutes, so a good 25 minutes of footage difference. That's really, really cool. And there's a disc, and there is a kiter right there. I believe or not, I still haven't watched it yet, because I've just been so busy. I've been watching, I've been mainly watching um, Ultraman Taro right now. But, yeah, that is the only non-anime Blu-ray I got, so let's go ahead and continue with the, now with the anime Blu-rays. Okay, so first anime that we have here, it's actually a movie, and I originally saw this on Netflix, and I love this movie so damn much. Easily one of my favorite anime films. Um, it's actually pretty sad because of, of the um, subject matter, but we have the DVD Blu-ray combo of A Silent Voice, the movie. This is such a amazing film. The a the animation is stunning. Uh, the story is just great too. It's basically about a girl who is actually um, deaf, and she ends up actually transferring to this new school, and she ends up actually getting severely bullied by uh, this guy right here on the, the front cover, and he bullies her so much that um, she ends up transferring schools because because she, she can't deal with it anymore, and because that this guy bullied this girl so much. Uh, this guy actually loses all all of his friends. So, um, cut to years later when he's older, he's you know uh, depressed. He's alone. Um, he basically feels that like he's not worthy of redemption or forgiveness because of what he's done to this girl. He ends up actually meeting this girl again years later, and he ends up trying to actually make amends and befriend her. Um, and it gets just so sad at certain points. Like this is one of the few animes that have actually made me cry. A few times, actually. The other one being Angel Beats, uh, which is a, another fantastic series, by the way. Please re-release that freaking Blu-ray, please. It's so, it's so, it's so like rare now, by the way. But yeah, come to my slip cover. And one really cool thing about this, and I actually will be uh, getting this framed. Uh, first off, here is the DVD and Blu-ray. Right there, DVD, Blu-ray. Very cool. And here is something that's really cool. That Shell Factory. This actually was released by Shell Factory, surprisingly. They did not have to include this, but they actually gave us a mini Japanese poster. Yeah, check, check, check that out. Definitely getting this framed because this film deserves it. So goddamn good. Um, but yeah, I cannot recommend that silent voice enough. It's just so good. Uh, you can get it on. You can watch it on Netflix. At least I think it's still on Netflix. I think. But yeah, um, you owe it to yourself to watch this movie. It's so god goddamn good. So good. So now, moving on to a more lighthearted series and not have, having to do with, with sad. Um, this one I bought on a whim. I was like, you know what? The, the plot sounds funny as hell and just as stupid as shit. I'm like, you know what? Why not? I bought the uh, complete series of Cat Planet Cuties. Yeah, uh, basically from what I read, uh, this guy who's kind of, who's a big time time nerd, he ends up actually meeting this cat girl from like, from like this, this another planet and the girl is actually on the run I guess from like these like dog aliens or whatever and I'm like you know what I gotta check this out it sounds just too stupid and too funny to be actually true and apparently it does have like a, a good bit of fan service I guess and apparently it's only 12 episodes long on two discs so um, <coughs> um <coughs> sorry yeah caught my throat so six episodes per disc that's nice and I forgot, I actually didn't say the features on a silent voice. Let me just do that really quick. Silent voices, features wise, we have um, original Japanese promotional videos and trailers, Sea of Youth music video by Noko, by Naoko Yamada, and theme song music video. I don't know what both those two are. Uh, for Cat Planet Cuties, we have uh, two episode commentaries, bonus features for episodes 1 through 12, extra bonus features, uh, the end, and. Ichi, Ichika special, Techless opening and closing songs, and Iris, Io, and Min Minami outros. So, yeah. Very, very cute. I do also like some cute animes because, you know, it's always fun. And there is some artwork on the back. Can I show it? Uh, that looks pretty tame. I'll, I'll, I'll show that off. Let me just make sure the other side is not too bad. Uh, it looks to be like an episode guide on the back, on the other side. Yeah, it's fine. So if I actually wanted to kind of switch covers, I could, but I'm not going to. Uh, let me just take it off just, just to do it better. There you go. You get that on the other side. So yeah. In case if you want to be like lewd, 
and see some nice anime titties and stuff like that, then yeah, good shit. I, I, I just combine stuff and shit, so it's so it's snuff, which like, that's completely different different meaning. Don't take that out of context. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, continuing on, uh, continuing on to the um, I guess like funny animes. This one's kind of more raunchy. Uh, we have the complete series of um, <laughs> of Prison School. Yeah, I've actually heard a lot of really good things about this series. Uh, this is like one of the series that my friend borrowed. Uh, he said it was funny as hell. Uh, basically, what's about these uh, five guys here on the, on the front cover, they actually transfer to this all-girls school, and they end up actually sneaking into, I guess, like, watching the girls, like, undress or, like, whatever. Uh, I guess, like, in their bathroom or gym or whatever. And they end up getting caught, and they end up getting um, basically sent to this prison school which is actually in the basement of the school that they're in and they end up getting like tortured and put through all like these rigorous like you know crap that, that they go through and yeah it's just so friggin funny like I cannot wait to check the series out um, for extras we have trailers commercials textless opening and closing songs video commentary and episode commentary that's really awesome there's a the back right there why, why, why did my hand itchy oh my goodness so, we got, so we got, how many episodes is it? We got 12 episodes on two discs, so six episodes a piece. Very good. And what about the underside? Does it have, have anything lewd? No, it's just, look, it's just, just the five guys. Yeah, it's just the, the five guys. Nothing really too special, so that's cool. And, continuing with more, I guess, like, kind of raunchy kind of anime, but uh, this time my freaking hand is itching like crazy, I swear to god. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why my hand, my, my hand is itchy. It's not dry, but damn. Uh, this one, I got it because it has to do with pro wrestling, and a lot of you may or may not know, but I love pro wrestling. So I got the complete series plus OVAs of Wanna Be the Strongest in the World. Yeah. Apparently this is apparently uh, about sexy anime girls and wrestling. Sounds like a pretty good combination. It says here, the world, of, the world of women's professional wrestling is sweaty, sadistic, and savagely sexy. Famous Japanese pop idol S Sakura Hagiwara is better suited for the spotlight than the wrestling ring, but the song stress is about to put her body to the ultimate test. Yeah. Of course, we got some big ass anime bo boobies. Can't really say the the, the detas word anymore because um because Kappa sucks ass and I hate it. So anyways, uh here is I definitely can I sh even show the inside of this what, what the discs? No, can't show that at all. No, I can show the actual disc, but I, I just cannot show the underneath of the disc because um the girls are all naked kind of in a hot spring, but they're all their main body parts like the cleavage area and all that is actually covered by like mist but I don't want to risk it but uh yeah there's the two discs right there and in terms for extras we have we have US trailers Texas ending song fan fan fanfare Texas opening song beautiful dreamer OVAs one through sorry volumes one through six yeah volume one through six OVAs and episode one and seven commentaries very cool Yay. And this does have a English dub. Yes, it does. Okay, cool. Very awesome. So, yay. Um, got that. And the last series. Now, this is probably raunchy as raunchy as you can get. Uh, did not actually get this. Oh, no. I did get this from um, the right stuff. Yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, this one, I was like, damn. <laughs> because this comes in a slipcover case. I can't take off the slipcover. I'm just letting you know that right now. Uh, but we have the complete series, of the, the complete collection of Why the Hell Are You Here, Teacher? Yeah, I've actually heard about this series through some friends of mine, and they say it's a really raunchy, funny series. Uh, basically, from what they told me, the, the basic little gist of it is that it's a, basically about four girls who want to get with this one one guy so they all go through a bunch of hijinks and that kind of lewd and sexy to like get his his attention and like all, all that crap at least that's from what they told me um 
but I'm he, right, reading here about uh, private lessons in sex ed, courtesy of four very attractive teachers. Uh, okay, so they're all teachers. Wow, okay. Um, this is actually released by Sentai Filmworks. They, this is not a hentai. Um, Sentai Filmworks, they do not release he hentais at all. They release uncensored stuff. Um, so if it shows boobies and all that stuff, they'll show it. That's kind of one one thing I love about about Sentai Filmworks. They just they really stick true to the to the to the um, source material. Um, but it says here you get twelve episodes plus uh, OVA, which uh, says here the special features are clean opening and closing animations, also available from Sentai Filmworks, which that shouldn't really even be a feature. So yeah, there's the back and kind of some of the lewdness on the sides right there. And again, I, this is a slipcover, and I cannot show it off because it even says right there, uncensored cover inside. Yeah, yeah, uncensored cover inside. So I can't show it off. Basically, what it is, it's all the girls, I believe, at like a beat. Yeah, at like a hot spring, and there's no mist covering their boobs. You see the the breast, the nipple, the everything. Yeah, you cannot. Yeah, I can't show it. But yeah, got that series. So, yep. And that was an, an empty water bottle. Anyways, screw it. So, that is it for part one. I've been just procrastinating to do, to, to do this video for a long time because just just time and just not having the energy to actually do it. So, yeah. Um, that is the first, uh, well, like, nine, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, first nine. Sweet. So, next will be the last eight that I got. And all the and all of them are all Blu-rays. So that's awesome. So, hope you guys all enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a video or go live on YouTube. So, hope you guys all enjoyed. And sayonara.